Hi, welcome to the Weekly Wrap. My name's Peter Thompson, I'm the uh, Willowong Delegate here. Now, obviously normally the Weekly Wrap would be done by our good friend Tom Brown, uh, the State Secretary for the Bus and Tram Division. But due to all of the lockdowns, etc., Tom wasn't able to, uh, to actually get out to the depot uh, here with us today. So he's asked me to step in um, and try and uh, keep our members uh, up to date with what's going on. Obviously, uh, the big issues at the moment are the COVID lockdown and uh, the COVID pandemic. So uh, I just want to let you know what's been uh, what's been happening, um, and ensuring that we're all uh, trying to stay safe and stay informed. So obviously, the first few drivers that were uh, caught up in the in the COVID um, contact tracing. Uh, they have actually now all been um, put into isolation. Uh, they've actually received negative um, uh, tests back, which is great to hear. Um, and they were stood down under the pandemic leave, which is the, um, the initiative put in place for those who are having to self-isolate um, uh, under the direction of Queensland Health. There was a couple of other drivers, I believe three, um, who were also contacted after the 411 was identified by contact tracers as, as being um, some issues or uh, issues with the 411 service. They have actually also been uh, put into isolation and they're just awaiting their test results. Um, but it's my understanding we haven't actually heard anything further, but we'll certainly keep you up to date once we know more. Um, the affected depots, those where we have had issues, Garden City, Sherwood, um, Carina, I think Tawong as well was another one. They've also, they've all undergone uh, the deep cleans. So they have actually had uh, the people in the hazmat suits come in and do a full deep clean of the depots. Uh, the meal rooms where they were involved um, or would have been involved with have also been uh, deep cleaned. Um, and also the buses that they identified as being part of those uh, affected services have also been taken out, cleaned and put back in. And uh, everything's been given the all clear there. So um, that's good news. So people can, be, uh, can rest assured that um, that yes, the full deep clean services have been done. Now, keeping that in mind, um, I think it's vitally important that we're still putting in good practices when we're out on the road or, or with each bus that we use. Um, we've got used to hand sanitizers um, or the the sanitizing wipes that they can uh, they can issue you behind the counter, uh, making sure that your area or your touch points, things like your your steering wheel. Uh, handbrake, um, you know, uh, indicator column, all those kinds of things that we're regularly touching. Just make sure you're giving those a good wipe down and clean um, before you start or using that uh, Purigene bio kill that they give us. Um, although they did mention to us the other day, please don't spray that directly onto the actual dashboard because it has been shorting out some of the electrical. So please use the, um, the paper towels um, or give it a wipe down or as I said, use the hand sanitizer and all the um, uh, the wipes that they're actually uh, they have available. Um, that mask mandate is obviously still in place. Uh, I know that's probably frustrating for people, um, but with obviously with this Delta strain that is, it is far more contagious than, than what the uh, um, initial strains of COVID were. Um, and it's uh, it's more important than ever that we are actually wearing those masks all the time. Um, it is caught and spreads more easily. Um, you know, there are, it is, uh, easier to move around and, and easier to actually um, um, to catch it. So uh, vitally important that we're using the masks. I know it's frustrating when we're deadheading, etc. But please make sure you are wearing those masks and please make sure that that mask is up over your nose or mouth um, and you are wearing it correctly. Um, if you're finding the cloth masks a little bit hard to use, uh, the counter do have the paper masks available for you. Um, and so before each shift, you can, you can go in and ask for one of those and they'll issue one of those to you as well. If you certainly have any problems, speak to your delegates about that uh, and they'll be on to it straight away for you. Um, but most importantly, make sure that we are getting those masks on. Um, I know, as I said to you, it's frustrating when you're out there um, all day, um, but it is for our safety and uh, and our safety is you know, what it's all about. We have to stay safe. And it's not just about your, uh, my safety, it's about yours. So I'm wearing the mask to keep you safe. Um, and I would really like you to be wearing your mask to keep me safe and all the others around you. We are in this all together and let's be part of the solution. Let's not be the problem. So as I said, the quicker 
that we can actually all be doing the right thing, the quicker we will come out of these lockdowns and the mask mandates will will be able to uh, to remove. So please do the right thing, guys. Um, if you are at the high risk categories, um, the over 70s or have a chronic uh, medical condition, the health direction is that you should be at home. And, you know, your union is going to, you know, support that, that if you are in those vulnerable um, age brackets or vulnerable health conditions, stand yourself down. I'm speaking to a lot of drivers in these conditions that are saying, oh, I don't want to lose money and I don't want to lose this. Your health has got to be the first priority here. So if you aren't feeling, you know, if you if you are in those categories, stand yourself down immediately. If you don't have your, uh, if you don't have leave entitlements, you can you lose, you can use. Um, you can certainly talk to the team leaders, or your delegates can help you talking with your team leaders uh, and getting you uh, special uh, leave requirements or uh, leave allowances, uh, which council can actually issue to you at the moment if you don't have, if you're a casual, for example, or you don't have um, any leave balance left. But look. I have to stress this. If you're in those vulnerable categories, stand yourself down. You know, no one wants to see anybody get sick. No one wants to see anybody be, you know, passing away or, or having any kind of future health concerns um, because we just didn't want to stand ourselves down in the first place. So if you're in those categories, stand yourself down, no question. Um, remembering children are now actually supposed to be uh, or, or mandated to wear masks. I believe originally through the schools they didn't have to, but certainly children over the age of 12 were supposed to be wearing on the buses. Um, we are working closer with the likes of the state governments and, and with council to try and come up with better uh, policies or better um, uh, initiatives to um, to how we do that because obviously the policies of no child left behind uh, etc come into play there so certainly if you are feeling unsafe and I'm not just talking about children if you have people that are getting on you know without masks and so on and remembering that it is not our job to actually police that certainly you can ask them if they've got a mask and if they can pop it on but if they don't we can't really refuse them that's uh, that's a Queensland police uh, issue not ours if you are feeling unsafe though, you do have the ability to contact NCC and you say to them, I am feeling unsafe in my current work environment due to um, due to these due to people not wearing masks. So I either need you to have somebody come out like Queensland Police um, and um, and issue mandates that these that the masks must be worn. Um, or remembering from one of the earlier videos which Tom and myself um, produced, um, you can actually under section 84 of the Workplace Health and Safety Act uh, remove yourself from an unsafe, uh, unsafe uh, work environment. So please have a read of section 84. Please, if you don't have access to that, go and speak to our delegates um, and they can get you a copy of section 84, um, which you can actually talk to NCC about if you're feeling unsafe. You don't need to feel unsafe in your workplace and you do have rights. Remember that. Always remember that. Um, when I said that we're not the police and we can't mandate it, um, yes, I, I think it's important that, that we are cool, calm and collected here. I know when you're wearing the mask, it's frustrating. I know with all the lockdown, you're frustrated. A lot of the other passengers, fewer passengers that we're seeing, they're also possibly frustrated with what's going on. So let's have a gentle, gentle approach here. Um, you know, you can you can ask somebody in a nice manner, hey, do you have a mask? Uh, any chance you can pop your mask on? Um, you know, I don't think we need to be aggressive. And at the end of the day, the way I feel, and this is obviously only my opinion, but I don't want them down in my workspace. So the less interaction, um, you know, the less time you're having, um, you know, if they're fair evading, if they don't have a mask on, just hit that fair evade button. If there's too many of them or if you're feeling unsafe, as I said, contact NCC and advise them of that. But please don't interact um, in, in a negative way with them. Um, and I know that it can escalate very, very quickly. Um, and I'm seeing this already. We are seeing drivers who are pretty much on the edge and you're seeing passengers who are on the edge and it doesn't take long for that to tip over. So guys, please stay safe out there, okay? Um, keep yourself safe. It's, it's about you, it's about your family, and it's about your workmates. Uh, no one wants to see anyone getting sick and, uh, and no one wants to see anyone going through the tragedies of what we're seeing in the overseas um, areas, etc. So that's about all I have. 
Um, remembering, I will actually probably just finish with the mental health side of it and just say to you that remember that you can actually talk to your delegates if, if you're feeling a little bit anxious or stressed um, or contact EAP. Uh, you please use the service. It's a free service and um, or if you or sort out somebody um, that you trust that you can actually talk to uh, and just be completely honest and open with. There is a lot of stuff going on at the moment and mental health is a huge issue that I don't think is being addressed enough. So you don't have to go through that kind of stuff alone. We are here to help. Your management is here to help. Use the likes of EAP or go and see your doctor um, and have a mental health plan done up so that you can actually ensure that this is not overwhelming um, you in any way, shape or form. Uh, stay safe. As I said, this is let's be part of the solution here. Let's not be the problem. Um, so from myself, Peter Thompson, I'm the Willowong Delegate. On behalf of Tom Brown, uh, this is a weekly wrap. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we'll see you next time.